San Leandro is a place where kindness matters. When we help one another, we create a better place for our families to live and grow. Even in an uncertain future, with changes to our climate, we can live confidently knowing that San Leandro is a place where neighbors are helping neighbors and building a resilient community. At the city, we think it's important to support the hard work our residents are doing to keep our neighborhoods safe and our community healthy. We always look for opportunities to partner with schools, neighborhoods, and local organizations to harness the power of volunteers. San Leandro made a commitment to climate change by opening up the sustainability office in 2017. Since then, I've been looking at what we can do in our own city facilities. For example, at our water treatment plant, we're looking to do some wetlands restoration and rebuilding the natural areas around the plant to help us process wastewater in a more ecologically friendly way and protect us from storm surge at the shoreline. These projects use the natural environment to do something that we have classically used concrete tanks and chemicals to achieve. Not only is it potentially less expensive, saving them money, but it also is natural, less overall impact on the environment, less resources to make it happen. San Leandro's climate hazards happen to be from the west, sea level rise, and from the east, urban wildfire. We also are looking at longer droughts, hotter temperatures. As we are 88,000 residents strong, we know that after a major emergency, our first responders would be almost immediately overwhelmed with the need for assistance. So we're looking to help people come together and think of their own ways to protect themselves. Cities of Service is a foundation that gives grants to cities who are looking to improve their resiliency. We were given a $25,000 grant in 2017 where we started our Adopt-A-Drain program. And in 2018, we were given that same grant and wanted to do more. So we partnered with our sustainability division to create a volunteer program that really engages people at their level. Volunteers benefit the work here in San Leandro tremendously because when we improve our parks we have a lot more people coming to the parks. Making the creek as healthy as it can be is actually really important to make San Leandro more resilient. We had two days of volunteer help, about 20-25 people each day. What we did was come in here and take out all the non-natives, which were blackberry and cape ivy. When you've got native species, you're going to have a lot more diversity in plant life. You're going to have a plant that can withstand flooding and extreme weather. It's amazing how much work volunteers can do in a couple days. Not only are they having a lot of fun, but it's a lot of benefit. And that's why we're looking forward to working with them and expanding this project throughout the rest of the park. Calico Center is the Children's Advocacy Center for Alameda County. We were motivated to apply for the grant because we're looked at as a helping organization. We see about 700 children clients a year and so we wanted to make sure we had the training to be able to respond to any emergency, take care of our clients, and be able to help our neighbors as a resource. We see this as just the first step in an ongoing process in creating um, emergency preparedness protocols and safety planning at our office. The Get Ready program fit right into what we were thinking on the HOA board. With all the things that are happening in the world, it's time that we took another step forward in doing the next level of disaster and emergency preparedness planning. The next time that there's a train stopped on the tracks across the only Heron Bay exit, what's not so obvious is that the Bay Trail is in fact one of our emergency exits. So we've funded a door hanger in three languages which the residents can put in their house and then have information as to where to call when there's an emergency. The residents will be better informed, the HOA board members will have the barricades, the vests, the equipment necessary to help the San Leandro police or other first responders direct traffic. Community Impact Lab is a family-oriented organization focused on empowering women and families, building supportive circles, and building community. 
The emergency preparedness grant that we applied for really was focused on how do we get families to take action to become more prepared in an emergency, and in particular around building emergency kits. Our emergency preparedness project was based at the Alameda County Fire Station in San Leandro. We provided emergency bags that we handed out to the attendees so that they have their emergency kit necessities. We're really big about making sure families are supported in any way that they can be and that they're ready for anything that might come along. The emergency kits served as a prompt to get people to have more conversations around emergency preparedness so that families can become more engaged. I'm a resident of a Mulford Garden area for the last 30 years. We decided to focus on cherry trees because the Mulford Garden area was home to cherry orchards in the past and we want to bring that tradition back to our neighborhood. Also, we decided to have earthquake survival kits and give them out. We got nine trees total and we got uh, 10 kits. This was good for us because we got communication with a lot of uh, residents here. This was a good way of bringing our neighbors together to help the environment to grow more food and make this a very cherry oriented area. The other thing that we really wanted to do with our 2018 funding is make sure that we engage our youngest residents. And that's turned into the adopt a Drain coloring contest. So we gave out nearly 6,000 flyers to all of the schools within San Leandro and asked the children and students of San Leandro to draw what it means to be sustainable, resilient. It's important to adopt a drain because you don't want no things to get in it or the street's going to be slippery and then we're going to have a flood and then cars are going to be swirling around the place. A lot of enthusiasm went into it. They got connection to their city, they got connection to their neighborhood, and they also got a reward. They got to come to the to City Hall and even meet the mayor. You're the people who are going to inherit this earth, and so we really are so happy to know that we have so many people who care about San Leandro. We are all very, very proud of you that you've taken the next step in making the city of San Leandro stronger and more resilient. If I volunteer, then maybe other people would want to volunteer, and then it could make it a better community.